What's up y'all, it is Royal UJ and I am back again with another video and this time I am unboxing something. I don't know if this is a vinyl or not, but I'm recording myself opening it because the last thing I ordered from Target was a Mary J. Blige vinyl and it wasn't supposed to come out to, I don't know, I think September, but I didn't order anything else so I don't know what this is, but I'm about to record myself opening Hold on, let me take this sticker off. Is this my Mary J. Land? I'm going to be very happy, but... If you look at the pre... I pre-ordered it from Target, and it was supposed to come... Um, it was supposed to be released September the 11th. But it was supposed to ship... I don't know. It's, it's weird, but... Let's see, y'all. Let's see. Uh, are we blurry? Wait. Alright, there we go. Oh wow, so you guys, I totally, <laughs> I totally forgot that I ordered this. So the funny thing about it too, was because I have been ordering a lot of vinyls as of lately. And um, girl, I ran my credit card up. <laughs> so I was like, I was gonna slow down and just order like two vinyls every week or every other week. And, um, well, every other week I was going to order a vinyl instead of just buying different ones, you know, all the time. So, I ordered this one, and, um, I totally forgot I did. And when I was in the shower this morning, when I got home from work, I was like, oh, I have to get that Marvin Gaye uh, vinyl, and I hope they still have it, because it's a, a Target exclusive. So, I was like, I hope they still have it. And it's just funny how God and it's just the universe, you know, whatever you believe in, um, the spirit works because it's like, you could literally be thinking about something and it would just pop right up. Like you could think about a song and somebody could drive by playing it or you could be, you know, on social media and you may have just played a song that you wanted to hear so badly and you get on your timeline and somebody else playing it or jamming to it or posted a springy shot of it or something like that. So it was just crazy because I literally thought about this. I didn't know I brought it. I told what well, I did know because I did pay for it, but I forgot. I totally forgot and I didn't know. I didn't track it. I, knew, I didn't do anything. I did not know it was coming. So I'm shocked. I'm like, what? I was just thinking about this. I was like, I have to get this album. I have to get it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I gotta go in there and get that exclusive from Target. I hope it's still up in this and it came today. So, let me tell you something. I almost spit my <laughs> I almost spit my money and brought this again, not knowing that I already paid for it. So this is Marvin Gaye's number one. Um, it's a Target exclusive. I think it's a red disc inside of it. But it had, no, I think it's red. I'm not for sure. But it have all his hits on there, like Let's Get It On, um, Sexual Healing, and What's Going On, and all that good stuff. So, I was like, I gotta get my boy. I got to. But, um, let's open this up right quick. But yeah, I was sh I'm shocked and surprised. Because I'm like, I didn't order anything else from Target that I know of. Because um, Mary J. Blige album is actually a back order. So, 
you know, they keep a asking me, is it okay, you know, the date, is it okay, is it okay, and I have to keep approving it, and, um, yeah, so, this is how it looks on the inside, it's like eggplant purple, eggplant purple, and I think the disc is purple too, yeah, so, Motel. So that is the disc. It's purple, like a pur yeah, like a purple type color. So it has one disc in it. This is side one, and this is side two. Like, look how beautiful that is. So it came in this sleeve, of course. Um, no insert, no book, no nothing. The vinyl edition is mastered by Alex Abresh at AA Mastering, um, compilation produced by Harry Weiner, Weinger, Winger, Travel. Art direction, Vartan, package design, meat and potatoes. Um, photo coordinator, Joe Almeida. Elmida, Elmida. Photographs courtesy of Motown Records Ar Archives. Production manager Annette Zuzio. Chart numbers courtesy of Billboard magazine. And it was made in Canada. Yes, yes, yes. So, Target exclusive. I hope you guys like it. Um, I don't know if it's still available up there, but last I checked, I think it was. I don't remember how many it was when I paid for it. I don't even remember buying it. But it's here and I'm so happy. But you see that big old box? They put this little old thing in. That's why I was like, what is that? Like, what? Maybe if it was in a smaller, like the box that they normally put the vinyl records in, maybe it would have, you know, it would have popped it to my head. Like, oh shoot, that's what's the name. But they put it in that big old box and I'm like, what is that? So. I hope you guys like the video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my social media down below in the description box. And click the bell to be notified when I upload, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.